How's it? How's it? We are back with some more Dead Space 2 on the Zealot difficulty. And we're going to rip our way out of the hospital today. Another safe station, but don't worry about that. All right, another enemy encounter. Three slashers. And you can get them all with no ammo. There is a broom, which is a spear over there, and another broom by that cleaning cart. And you can get them all without firing a single shot, if all goes well. Ah. All right, scary jump scare, and the dinner bell has been rung. One of the guys is going to pop right out of that vent, so be ready for him. Actually, I'm going to move the spears over here so he doesn't throw them out of the way. Ah, look who it is, right on cue. And here's his buddy. Take out a leg. Shoot him in the head. Alrighty. Where's number three? There he is. Textbook. Alright. I don't remember if there's a text log here. Definitely isn't. That is some supreme tucking in skills. Parent of the year. It's exactly how I want it. Smothering face and all. Give me those flowers. You know, I've never done that. <laughs> Alright, there's some goodies back here. Get over here. Make sure you give it a wiggle to get the box. And there's a couple things over here. <clears throat> there's not too much exploring you can do in this game, so what little of it there is, go for it. Pretty much always worth it. Manual reload. Yeah, if you're not pressing R to reload in a video game, God help you. Okay, our next big encounter here. First, grab some stuff over here. There's going to be five slashers. And I'll show you exactly how to take care of them. All right, follow Strauss down here. Okay, you may not know it, but um, we're on a timer. So we're going to go out this way. The opposite way we came, because there's stuff to pick up. Data, your fucking route didn't work. There's a security lock down. I told you to hurry. How'd you miss it? Look, I don't need your help. Fine. Let's see how long you last for that. Okay, I'm just clearing some space, because... I, when I pick up the spears, sometimes it's hard to do it through all the crap. Alright, that's three. Be sure to count. Oh, there's four and five. Oop, I missed his groin. And just like that, we're free. Yeah, you can see I was trying to kinesis the limbs off of this guy. Dana? Dana? Okay, you're right. I do need your help. Talk to me. Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. All right, I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> Shit! Tideman's jamming my signal! Yeah, I was trying to get the spears off of this guy back here, but I just kept getting toys. But, all in all, I think you get what's going on there. Try to use the spears as much as you can, and avoid the clutter. Orderly TPS report 1138. Patient 3 has again shit the bed. Patient continues to draw what looks like a marker in anything she can, including her own feces. Her trembling hands have reached the point where she cannot see, drink, or bathe herself. Her outlook is uncertain. Entry end. Power node right here. Don't forget it. It's important. And a text log. For all you story people, I'll let that fire up. And uh, you can pause it and read it if you want, but I'm not going to. All right, there we go.
go. I wish it didn't scroll so slowly, you know. And over here behind the wheelchair is the plasma energy. Another save station, don't worry about that. Here we're in the triage room, or the stasis room. So, when we finally do get the stasis module, a dude is going to drop out of here and come racing over. You have to stasis him. If you don't stasis him and just try to kill him, because he's already stasis, uh, he'll just break right through it and cut you in, cut you into pieces. So, hack, stasis, go for an arm, and then spear him with it. And here's the hack. Just read the tutorial. This is uh, really easy on the PC. Console, it's a little tougher. All right, I hope you're a fast reader or you're listening. All right, whoop, stasis him. Got his limb. And stabby stabby. Grab his ammo. And here's another text log. They replaced the Tachyon unit. What is this, Star Trek? Be sure to get another one because there are enemies. Hey, hey. I don't think the game will let me cheese it with this uh, claw. But I will try. So up here is the puker. He'll spit hot acid at you if he gets close. So we're not going to let him get close to us. And don't use that broom as a spear. It is a fake. It has impotency issues. Let me just show you really quick. Never mind. Two shots for arm. Look at that. He's alive. That's pretty impressive, though. Okay. Be sure to go into this alcove for another power node. This broom. This broom. This broom. Also has impotency issues. You'll see the issue. Yeah, that won't stab anything. So keep that in mind. If you're, like, counting on that. It's it's not going to happen. The game pulls a lot of tre cheap trickery like this, too. You think you have a spear and the spear will just disappear. Usually it'll disappear. This is the only time I remember that it just doesn't work. What the fuck? Ooh, it's dark. What if we kissed in the spooky elevator? JK, JK. Unless... Be sure to stop at the gift shop for gifts. I can read that up if you want. That's nice. They have bad handwriting too. Lots of power nodes behind desks in this first area. Alright, the decompression room. Uh, shoot this guy. He's actually got some stuff on him. And he'll die in one shot. There we go. Yeah, uh, shoot that dude. Otherwise, he and all of his stuff goes flying out the window. Plasma energy here. This guy is, is faking it. But, um, just pick up the mop bucket. And 
could just beat him to death with it. Yeah, he's still faking. Actually, we could pick up that spike, maybe, and... Yeah, that's what you get. Alright, in case you're an absolute moron, here is all the credits you need for a suit. CEC Engineer Isaac Clark. That's nice. Anyway. Yeah, you'll see I have a lot of, like, DLC in this. Um, you may or may not know, but in the PC version, for whatever reason, you just have all the DLC. I have no idea why. Maybe it's an apology for ruining Dead Space 3. Hot take. Yeah, but I'm not going to use any of that. As you saw, I didn't put on any of the suits. I just bought it. Fancy duds there. If there was ever dressed for the job you want, not the job you have, this is what I would dress. Except I still am an engineer. But I could always wish I was a cool engineer. Alright. We're gonna sell off all this crap. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to take out the, um, the tripod in the next area. Actually, I have terrible aim, so I will leave a stack. There's a, another store, like, right after him. Right after this boss fight, so... It doesn't matter. Power note out here in the vacuum. Be sure to grab it. Alright, this is very important. Here is a stasis recharge station. It's kind of funky. If you come and run at it on the side, you probably won't pick it up. So you gotta be sure to come at it straight on. And even though I say that, I, I always mess it up. So, that was weird. So be smarter than I am. The trigger line for this encounter is right here between that middle pillar and that outside one. And he's a jumper. He's gonna jump at us. He's gonna pop up and look all cool and scary and then jump. So once the cutscene kicks out, immediately back up and stasis him. Now some people can just keep him stun locked and shoot his weak points on the arms, but my aim isn't that good, so I'll try my best. Dun dun dun. Oh, there he is. Hello. And back up, back up, back up. All right. Just be sure to get it straight on. Couldn't get that other one, but... Well then, that's just rude. His arm's in motion. Here he comes. Do you regret selling all your med packs? Yeah. I also regret not saving. Now he's easier. See, he has a big stagger. Don't get into the corner. No tongue on the first date. That is a sucker play. Um, just grab that. Whee! Jesus, that thing was angry. Dana, I'm out of the hospital. Okay, the tram station is just beyond the apartment block. Hang on, I need more answers. How long have I been here? Three years. Tideman found you floating in space near Aegis Seven and brought you here for study. Why can't I remember anything? The marker you found imprinted your brain with a self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. 
Tybin tried to keep it in check with memory suppressants. You said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Tram station, get moving. And it works for where you can see how hard the bad guys hit and tell it. Tell everyone the secret now. It'd only still be a secret if you were asleep. Anyway, that was chapter two right there, but the save station is over here. And we got a couple more things to take care of. Um, when you pick up this med kit, that guy will come to life. Stasis him and try to take off a limb. Ah! Got your arm. Oh, so close. when it's over. Impaled dead guy. Be sure you save a power node for this room. It's the most important room. I'm going to be opening all of them. But this room has the power node schematic. And I'm going to show you how to put that to good use and what sort of upgrading to do at our very first bench next video. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you on the next video. Have a good one.